Now we're going to write down a polynomial with certain properties. We're going to find the minimal degree, and the minimal degree is useful because we don't want to, if I don't write down minimal degree, there'll be an infinite number of polynomials that could have these properties. So first up, real coefficients. So the conjugate pairs theorem is in place. We have an x-intercept. Ah, that's a real zero. We have a complex zero and real coefficients. So we automatically, those two factor, uh, those two properties mean we have the conjugate zero. which will be x equals 1 plus i. And behavior down on both sides, so I know we have an even degree, and our coefficient a needs to be negative. So even degree, a is negative, and our y-intercept 0, negative 16. If we call our polynomial f, f of 0 equals negative 16. That's what a y-intercept means. So let's start lining all these up. So just flipping back real quick to the complex factor theorem, I'm going to write the polynomial out in this form right here. The only thing is I don't know the multiplicities. So there could be a coefficient in the front. In fact, there has to be because it needs to be negative. I'll put the real zero first. Now I don't know the multiplicity up here. So I'm just going to call that M1. We'll figure out what that is. X minus, what's our next zero? Complex zero. 1 minus i to the m2. Now because these occur in pairs, m2 has to be the same as m3. So we can just shortcut it. They have to be the same number. So we need... Where are we? Those and behavior, we need an even degree. So what does that mean? Even degree means m1 plus m2 plus m2 is even. Now you add up two numbers and get even. This number has to be even already because there's a 2 in front of it. What kind of number plus even number is even? Only choice is even plus another even is still even. So M1 is even. We want to go minimal degree, so we are, will choose 2. Could choose 4, but I would not also then have minimal degree. And I'm going to choose M2 to both. Both of these are going to be 1. I could go with a higher degree, but when you get to choose, we want to choose the lowest one possible. Why is it not okay to choose M1 to be the even number 0? Because then we would lose this factor right here, and we would no longer have an x-intercept. So you can't go and choose 0 here. It's too small. If you really want to, you can distribute this. However, I don't recommend you do that. You, you can multiply these out. Uh, you can also go to Wolfram Alpha and let Wolfram multiply them out. There is another thing you can do, and that is uh, basically nothing. So I'm just going to use the... Mm, now we'll just leave it like this right here. So first of all, do we have even degree? We better, because we just spent some time trying to make it even. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. We got even degree. Now A needs to be negative. What negative number should we choose? There's only one piece of information we haven't used already, and that is our y-intercept. We're going to use that right now. So take 0 and F it. What do we get? You want to be very careful. Wherever you see X, you're going to put a 0. Minus 2 squared, 0 minus 1 plus i, 0, minus 1 minus i. Now it's a little weird. These are conjugates. They better be conjugates. We just use a conjugate pair theorem. How do we multiply them? Square negative 1, which is positive 1. 
i times negative i is positive 1. Why is that? This is negative i squared, which is negative negative 1. Right there. Uh, minus 2 squared is positive 2 times 2. So 4 times 2. And what is this supposed to equal? We saw up here should be negative 16. 8a divided by 8a equals negative 2. So there we go. That's the last piece that we need for this polynomial. So we can write down our final answer now. It's probably easiest to... We'll just rewrite this version here. So our final answer, negative 2, it's good that it was negative because we got our end behavior here uh, indicated that it should be negative. So x minus 2 squared. You could multiply these two together. It would just take a little bit of time. It's a good algebraic exercise, which I won't do right now. You just want to FOIL and carefully FOIL. So we have x minus 1 minus i, x minus 1 plus i. And that is our final answer right there. Should have all these properties. How can you check? Fooplot.com. And you can graph this out. They may not let you do i, so you may have to... Uh, you can always go to Wolfram. Wolfram understands i very well. Now, these are... Use these to check only. So you can check with the, either of these.